Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the Beta FPV Metro 65 1S brushless swoop. In this video I'm going to quickly go over its features and specs, show you how to set it up and then test it both indoors and outdoors. The Meteor 65 is available both in Bind and Fly and Plug and Play versions. I've got the Sky FSC version, so the receiver is built into the flight controller. In terms of packaging, inside the box, along with the Meteor 65, you can find a 1S 300mAh LHV battery, a PH 2.0 to BT 2.0 adapter, and a 25 degrees camera mount. The BT 2.0 connector has been introduced by Beta FPV along with the Meteor 65 and its purpose is to create less voltage sag and give you better fly time as it allows a continuous current of 9 amperes. You can consider the new BT 2.0 connector as an in-between solution between XT30 and PH2 connectors and I plan to compare these three connectors on a later video, so stay tuned. In terms of components, the Meteor 65 features Beta FPV 0802 22,000 kV motors. The kV of these motors is relatively high, and as you're about to see, this quadcopter gets really fast, even though it supports only 1S LHV batteries. The motor shaft diameter is 1mm, and the Meteor 65 is bundled with a single set of Genfen 31mm 3 bladed propellers. I highly recommend to get more propellers as it's not unlikely for the props to fly away in the middle of the flight or get detached after a crash. In the center of the Meteor 65 you can find an F4 flight controller that features an integrated 5 ampere BLLES 4-in-1 ESC. It came pre-flashed with Betaflight 3.5.7 and even though it's not the latest version of Betaflight it just flies great using this firmware and I don't recommend to change it. Over here you can find the boot button, which also double acts for the bind button for the Sky FCC version. So in case you would like to enter DFU mode, you will need to press it while connecting the flight controller to your computer. And if you would like to enter bind mode, you will need to first power up the quadcopter and then short press this button. Under the white canopy of the Meteor 65, you can find the Beta FPV M01 all-in-one camera. It's based on two components a 600 TV line camera and the second one is a 25 mV 48 channels VTX that supports smart audio. By default the camera is mounted on a 35 degrees mount and if you are a beginner or you just want to fly a little bit slower I recommend to change it to the included 25 degrees mount. In terms of dimensions the Meteor 65 weighs 22.8 grams not including the battery and 30.4 grams including it. Its wheelbase is 65 mm and the distance between the back motors and the front ones and also between the right ones and the left ones is 44.4 mm. The battery is mounted on the bottom of the quadcopter. It is secured using these plastic parts and as you can see it fits pretty well. In order to bind the built-in Sky FCC receiver you will need to power up the quadcopter. Then as you can see the right LED is slowly flashing and after short pressing this button over here for about a second, the right LED is going to turn solid, which means that now the receiver is in binding mode. By default, the FRSky SPRX receiver is set to FRSky X, which stands for D16 protocol, and if you'd like, you can change it to FRSky D and then bind it using D8 protocol. I tested this quadcopter using D16 and I didn't experience any issues, so I recommend to leave it just the way it is on Sky X. Now in order to bind the receiver, you will need to hit bind on your remote controller after selecting which protocol you would like to use. And after a successful bind, the right LED is going to flash slowly for a few seconds and then turn solid. The built-in receiver supports RSSI, so if you'd like, you can display this value on your on-screen display. After binding your receiver, the next thing that you need to do is to head over to Betaflight and make sure that all the channels are working properly and also set your desired flight modes. You can also adjust your favorite on-screen display settings and it is also recommended to change the default DShot 600 protocol to DShot 300 and Nick Burns, which is probably the best Micros reviews, has a great video about it so you should definitely watch it since he experienced some switches when it was set to DShot 600 he researched it and he came to the conclusion that it's recommended to set it to DShot 300 
And I did test the quadcopter using both protocols and it seems that it performs better using Disho 300. So I think that you should just try it and see if it works better for you as well. The next thing that I've done is to test the Meteor 65, both indoors and outdoors. When I was flying it outdoors, it was a little bit windy and this very light quadcopter couldn't handle it very well. And I think that it shines where you fly it indoors and it's very agile and fun to fly. In terms of durability, I did crash it a few times, but the frame is very flexible and didn't break. And I think that the weakest part is probably the thin plastic canopy, which eventually going to break in case of a crash. So I hope Beta FPV are going to sell some spare parts and you can get it separately. Using the provided battery, you can expect a fly time of about two minutes. So of course, one battery is not enough. So I recommend to get at least three more and then you can charge the batteries while you're flying using a field charger such as this one. Now, by the way, as you probably noticed, a charger is not included with the Meteor 65. So I'm going to leave some links down below so you can check them out. So overall, I can tell you that I really enjoyed flying the Beta FPV Meteor 65 and its main downsides are that first of all, it's a little bit on the pricey side and second of all, the camera quality is okay, but not amazing. And by the way, if you are a rapid fire user, I recommend to set the rapid fire to legacy mode as I experienced some issues when setting it to rapid fire one and two. Now I'm going to show you the flight footage. And as always, if you have any questions about the Beta FEV Meteor 65, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye. There is nothing like feeling young and free. Gonna leave it all behind, all behind.